we present event-guided depth sensing. Active depth sensors such as structured light, LIDAR, and time of light scan the entire scene uniformly at fixed scan rates. This leads to limited spatial temporal resolution where redundant static information is oversampled and precious motion information might be undersampled. The areas of interest for robotic applications are often characterized by dynamic objects in the scene, and therefore, scanning these areas with low latency is essential. Event cameras are bio-inspired vision sensors that output data asynchronously. Event cameras measure the intensity changes with microsecond resolution, making them suitable for high-speed application. We propose to use an event camera to identify these areas of interest to guide the depth sensor because events naturally correspond to moving objects. Event-guided depth sensing attempts to exploit event cameras for low latency depth foveation. Depth foveation scans areas of interest with higher spatial resolution, whereas the other regions are scanned with a lower spatial resolution. Event-guided sampling results in fewer depth samples. We propose a depth completion network to recover the full depth from these sparse depth measurements. We consider events since the last depth scan and detect the regions of interest. The regions of interest are the positions of the bounding boxes around the dynamic objects, along with their width and height. These measurements are then passed to a Kalman filter, which estimates the position of the bounding box in the image plane. This information is then passed to a scanning controller to control the depth samples. We now explain the ROI detection. The events are first converted to an event frame representation. We apply the morphological operation of dilation and detect contours on the image. For each contour, we fit a rectangular bounding box around it in the event frame. We now explain how the depth controller works with our prototype depth sensor. We consider an event-based structured light depth sensor. It consists of an event camera and a laser scanning projector. The projector moves in a raster scanning fashion from left to right and top to bottom. The control of the depth scanner is achieved by controlling the laser projector. We generate a binary mask to signal the laser beam to switch off at the corresponding pixel location. The projector therefore only illuminates the pixel where the mask is one. The ROIs generated from the event frame are combined with the sparse grid to form a binary mask. Thus, the areas of motion detected by the event camera have a higher spatial density, whereas the static areas have a lower spatial resolution. Depth is computed by triangulating the point in the time map of the projector and the event camera. Despite sampling fewer depth samples, we show that we can recover the full depth only from the sparse event-guided samples using depth completion. We now show some results of event-guided depth sensing with our prototype depth sensor. In this scene, we have motion in the foreground due to the movement of the hand, whereas the background remains static. The events correspond to the motion of the hand. We see that our approach results in sparse depth samples in the static areas and dense depth in the dynamic areas. Similarly, in this case, the motion consists of the motion of the hand as well as that of the tennis ball. Our approach again results in sparse samples in the static areas and dense samples in the dynamic areas of the scene. ROIs change depending on the scene as can be seen in this sequence, where the jumping motion results in dense depth moving from the lower edge to the top of the sensor. In this case, the ROIs follow the jumping motion and therefore result in dense samples on the top where the person is jumping. The bottom of the screen has no motion and therefore has sparse depth samples. In this sequence, the person is moving in front of the depth sensor. In the absence, since the ROIs depend on the scene activity, in the absence of any activity, this results in only sparse samples. In the case where there are events generated everywhere, as can be seen here, where the human motion generates activity in the entire image plane, this results in dense sampling of the entire sensor plane. Lastly, we ask the question, can we recover the dense depth from sparse event-guided samples? To answer this question, 
we train a network to predict tenth depth from sparse depth samples and events. We evaluate this network to predict depth and on the event scape data set, we achieve an average error of 1.32 centimeters. We now show some qualitative examples of the depth completion. In conclusion, we introduce event-guided depth sensing, which exploits the low latency motion information from events to guide a depth sensor. By only scanning motion areas with higher spatial density, our method scans less than 10% of the scene on average, resulting in significant reduction of bandwidth. We show that the full depth can be recovered with high accuracy from sparse depth measurements. Lastly, we would like to remark that our approach can be applied to any depth sensor such as LIDAR, stem of lights, and structured light. Thank you.